Coming up on this episode of New England Ski Journal. It may be March, but as we know, ski season is far from over. We'll check out some of the big events happening as we head into spring. Plus, 50 years of Bretton Woods and the West Mountain expansion is open for business at Sugarloaf. Looking to extend the winter? Well, no one has a longer ski season than Killington, and they have some big events on the spring calendar like the annual Bear Mountain Mogul Challenge. It is so sweet under the sun, and even if my pocket's empty, I don't really want to go to work. Mm, no, no, no. It is so sweet under the sun, I'm gonna take my time, cause I don't really want This morning, look around and see the sun high. I grab my bag and take my phone. I shut the door and walk into the light. Oh, yeah. And suddenly my phone is ringing. I can hear my boss a shout. Of course, the opera scene is always happening at Killington, and one of the best year-round spots is one of the closest to the resort. At the Lookout Tavern, they pour the best local brews, including their house favorite, Rutland Beer Works. We're the closest place to the resort, and people ski the morning session, they want to stop in for lunch. Same thing with Opera. When they're coming down the hill, we're a natural selection, kind of that first watering hole on the left. I don't know how I would describe the menu. I would say classic American with Mexican, with barbecue. We use a smaller menu with signature items, burritos, burgers, handmade soups and chili every day, French onion, and then creative salads, entrees with steaks and salmon and fish, but not a lot of that in order to keep everything fresh and good. We try to keep our menu manageable, the same thing with our draft selections. We offer eight great Vermont products on tap. Killington is a huge ski resort, but the community is not just made up of resort people. Same with the Lookout Tavern. It isn't a totally white collar ski area. Killington has never been that way. It's always been a mix of white and blue collar. So if somebody's looking for a quiet, candlelit dinner, it's typically not this place. We're more public, more conversation, the volume's a little bit higher. And with that, you kind of draw a certain type of clientele. I'm not saying they're all loud and boisterous, but we certainly bring in some of the fun local characters on a daily basis. So if you're in Killington, stop in and say hello. Be sure to check out the Lookout Tavern when at Killington and get yourself a cold pint of Rutland Beer Works. Conveniently located on the Killington Access Road, open seven days a week, at 11.30 a.m. Want another event to mark down at Killington? How about their annual pond skim? Stay with us on New England Ski Journal. 
Coming up, 50 years of Bretton Woods, and later on in the show, we check out Sugarloaf's West Mountain expansion. New England Ski Journal is brought to you by Country Ski and Sport, a family business celebrating over 50 years of exceptional service. By Hestra Gloves, taking care of your hands since 1936. By Rutland Beer Works, beers for everyone to love. By the Lookout Tavern, Killington's go-to restaurant for casual and fun dining. A must-stop for lunch, opera, and dinner. And by Great Glen Trails, your one-stop destination for winter adventure at the base of Mount Washington in Pinkham Notch, New Hampshire. Hey everyone, I'm Ray Stenson at Country Ski and Sport. Today we're going to talk about choosing the right helmet and goggles. When you're looking to purchase goggles, the most important part is looking for the right lens so that you can see in all conditions. When buying a helmet, you want to make sure that the fit is dialed in. Having a good fitting helmet means you're going to be safe on the slopes. The first goggle that we're going to talk about is the Smith IO Mag. The Smith brand is a great brand. They fit awesome and have amazing optics. The best part about this goggle is it comes with two lenses. You have a lens for cloudy days and a lens for sunny days. And up next, the Giro brand. This goggle from Giro is an excellent option because it's gonna allow you to see everything on the mountain. Now we're on to helmets. First up is the Jackson from Giro. This helmet from Giro is a sleek, low profile helmet with hidden vents and a BOA adjustment system. This low profile look is gonna protect your head while looking awesome on the mountain. Finally, the Liberty from Smith. This helmet is full of technology. Nice, comfortable liner and super adjustable vents. Vents are very important because they allow your head to breathe. They also allow your goggles to be fog free when your helmet and your goggle integrate together. Helmets and goggles are just as important as skis and ski boots. Come down to Country Ski and Sport where we have a huge selection of helmets and goggles. We're in Hanson, Quincy in Westwood, Massachusetts. It's March on New England Ski Journal, and there's still plenty of skiing at places like Bretton Woods. And it's a special time at New Hampshire's largest resort as they are celebrating their 50 year anniversary. To this day, I think this is the best family mountain. I've always been a good skier, not a great skier. Well, I feel like from here, I'm a great skier. You know, the mountain, you know, the way it's groomed, the way it lies, you know, you don't have anything that that makes me want to go holy beep. It's the exhilaration of skiing, turning, controlling your speed, and having a wonderful experience. Feeling the, the wind in your face. I can't say that I feel the wind in my hair. I don't have any hair. But nowadays we wear goggles and we wear helmets, but it's just an exhilaration. I, I, don't, know, I don't have any other sports past or present where I get that type of exhilaration that I do as I ski. I was 13 years old. Our grandfather was the caretaker of the resort for over 30 years. Uh, he lived in the caretaker's house at the hotel and he was in charge of the property throughout those years through the 50s, 60s, 70s, and into some of the 80s. So I came over at 13. Uh, we were four generations. My dad worked here. Uh, my brother, my sisters, my wife, we met here. And our son was the fourth generation here on the mountain. That first year during ski week or activities, which I ran, one night was get the guests to meet the ski instructors. And that's where I met Bill, who was the assistant ski school director at the time, and became my husband a few years later. I remember my father dropping me off for my first day of ski school when I joined that department, and my mother dropping me off at the hotel when I started working there in the summer seasons. And I had that full circle moment with my children, dropping my daughter off for her first day of ski school, and my stepson off for his first day of rentals. Redwood, thanks for 50 great years on the slopes. 
and here's to another 150. Happy 50th anniversary, Bretton Woods. Happy 50th anniversary, Bretton Woods. Cheers. Happy 50th, Bretton Woods. Bretton Woods and the Mount Washington Hotel overlook New Hampshire's highest peak. And if you want to explore Mount Washington the fun way, ride the snow coach from Great Glen Trails in Pinkham Notch. Snow coach is a really unique experience. It's a passenger vehicle that we've outfitted with these like snow tracks and it enables us to take folks up about an hour and a half tour that goes up to Treeline on the Mount Washington Auto Road. It's warm, it's heated, you can learn about the history of the Auto Road, what makes Mount Washington so unique, and also perhaps get to experience some of this amazing weather that we get on Mount Washington. The snow coach will be running through March. Coming up next on New England Ski Journal, we head to another great opera and dining spot. Stay with us. New England Ski Journal's Base Camp podcast is the weekly podcast on the New England ski scene and beyond. Be sure to download Base Camp wherever you get your podcasts or at skijournal.com. New England Ski Journal is your complete source for skiing and the outdoors in New England. With some of the best writers and photography in the industry, New England Ski Journal will inform and inspire you with insight and advice on the ski and outdoor scene like no one else. From special destinations, resorts, lodging, gear, backcountry gems, the opera scene, as well as summer and fall experiences, New England Ski Journal is your go-to source for guide and adventure. Log on to skijournal.com forward slash subscribe to start your ski and outdoor experience today. If you're looking for daily content on the New England ski and outdoor scene, skijournal.com has you covered. Delivering insider information with their expert lineup of ski and outdoor journalists in the industry. Looking for your next ski experience? Check out all of our New England Ski Journal episodes at skijournal.com as we visit some of the best ski resorts and destinations in the region. If you regularly travel to the White Mountains in New Hampshire, you may already know about Tuckerman Brewing. Located in Conway, it's a popular spot for drinking, dining, and music. We definitely get people on their way up. They gotta stop here before they get to their chalet. And we definitely get people to come afterwards and have that opera. And now that we have pizza, you can come have dinner and sit. We're really, really chill here. You get to pick any seat you'd like to sit in the house. You go over to the bar to order your beer and food. You can choose to play some board games. You can choose to bring in your own board games. But the main attraction at Tuckerman Brewery is the beer. It's something they've been perfecting for 26 years. Tuckerman Pale Ale is their signature beer, but they're coming out with new ones all the time. We do two batches a day, five days a week. And most of the stuff we do is bottle conditioned, so it's carbonated naturally. The bottle conditioning for us is fairly unique because it definitely gives you a layer of flavor that you wouldn't have if you didn't do that process. You will see our beer and our drafts like on almost every ski resort. People will go there and have a pint and then come visit us for the live music after their ski day. The menu at Tuckerman Brewery is kept simple, but people love it. Jeff in the kitchen comes out with outstanding pizzas, new special every week. We just started doing soups too, so you can bring the family, have dinner, listen to music. A lot of people do come here on the weekends to listen to music. A lot of local bands, and we've been actually expanding to other bands as well. We've got some huge bands coming up, Mallet Brothers, Keller Williams, a higher education band, great dub band. It's really awesome in the summer, especially out in our field where we can have up to 500 people. They'll spend their whole day here and just having a good time. And there's more. On Monday nights, we offer an industry night, so anybody in the music industry, food industry, in the Valley, we offer 20% off their entire check um, to bring those people in on their days off. Tuesday nights, we host a music trivia. Wednesdays, we have cornhole that gets played out back in the brewery, which is super awesome to be playing in between all of everything that's going on back there. And then on Thursday nights, we host a regular trivia, and then we go right into our music weekends every weekend. 
So whether it's opera or dinner on the way into the Mount Washington Valley, bring the family and friends to Tuckerman Brewery. The atmosphere here is we're all friends. You know, we all get along. We all have a good time. We're grinding out beer for the masses, but at the end of the day, we're also sitting and having one and laughing. And I think that is the best part. I think it's just the beginning. I think there's a lot of things that are gonna come out in the next five to 10 years that it continue to grow and bloom. And this place is just gonna become more and more and more and more exciting. Not just during the winter, not just during the summer. I think an all year round kind of place that you wanna come hang out when you come to visit Conway, New Hampshire. Staying in the White Mountains, but crossing over into Maine, you'll come upon Sunday River Resort, where you can ride some brand new chairlifts, visit a new lounge made of ice and snow, and enjoy some of the best spring skiing in New England. Sunday River is Maine's second largest resort. For the largest, you have to head north to Sugarloaf. And when we come back on New England Ski Journal, we'll find out how they recently grew even more. Welcome back. We are visiting resorts in New England where you can find some great spring skiing and activities. Sugarloaf in Maine not only annually keeps you skiing into April, but they just opened a whole new huge space to enjoy the outdoors with their West Mountain expansion. It was clear that Sugarloaf had a, an amazing future and potential. This expansion, the West Mountain expansion, is the largest expansion at least since the 70s and maybe ever in, in New England skiing. The, the scope of this project done in one year has never been done before. Sugarloaf is the location of the most terrain, snowmaking infrastructure, a huge lift put in all in one year. Nothing's been done like this in, you know, six, seven decades and maybe ever in New England. And that can't be underscored. The, the amount of effort that the local contractors, the team here at Sugarloaf, Doppelmeyer in coordination with them, it has been an all hands on deck in the wettest period in the history of, of the state. say Sugarloaf is the real deal of skiing, but now it's got the real deal of intermediate terrain. So it's got tremendous balance with West Mount. We can take advantage of this amazing intermediate beginner terrain to really spread the crowds out and create a, a more diverse experience for more families and, and, you know, whether it's young people or people my age and older that want to, you know, spread their wings a little bit and, and have some great cruisers. The terrain unlocked not only additional intermediate beginner terrain, but it unlocks opportunity for more places for sugarloafers to own a piece of sugarloaf and, and to do it in ski and ski out access, which is primarily where most people want to have convenient access to slopes. So it really opens up the door to so many families being able to be sugarloafers for life. As most sugar lovers know, it can be a windy place and, and sometimes cold, but you know, the wind is certainly a challenge. And we've been working you know, for over a decade to mitigate the wind issues, whether it's the type of lifts we put at Skyline, the wind mitigation fences that were um, executed. But the location of this lift, its proximity to Mid Mountain and going deeper and lower on the mountain allows us to have a large pod of intermediate beginner terrain that's available in more days and more wind conditions. Some of these moves we make, many people don't really understand the full breadth of what it un unlocks. I mean, it's crazy like a fox, I guess, to some degree. This, this lift location and this pod opens up 
opportunities in the summertime for weddings at Bullwinkles, the connectivity winter and summer to Bullwinkles, the trail systems that can be created up here, the integration to future lifts to the peak that can happen both for pedestrian and bikes. It really opens up the opportunity to make a much better business model here winter and summer and, and a much more attractive place to come. So it really sets the stage for some next steps that are really key to moving this a resort forward and one of those mile markers on that journey of, of 2030. Sugarloaf also has plenty of events coming up this spring and we leave you with a look at their biggest, the annual Sugarloaf Reggae Festival. I'm your host Meredith Gorman and we'll see you next time on New England Ski Journal. Some liquor, get people around. Cops drive by, so we don't make a sound. Put the beers in the bushes and get down on the ground. Nobody let me while we still New England Ski Journal is brought to you by Country Ski and Sport, a family business celebrating over 50 years of exceptional service. By Hestra Gloves, taking care of your hands since 1936. By Rutland Beer Works, beers for everyone to love. By the Lookout Tavern, Killington's go-to restaurant for casual and fun dining. A must stop for lunch, opera, and dinner. And by Great Glen Trails, your one-stop destination for winter adventure at the base of Mount Washington in Pinkham Notch, New Hampshire.